Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018. With my Arsenal career mode, we're going to be playing Huddersfield at the John Smith Stadium, which is a stadium I worked out for a good amount of years, a couple of years ago. Way when Huddersfield would dreamt about getting into the Championship, then dreamt about staying in the Championship, and obviously now they're in the Premier League in the big time. So we'll be going there and playing that match, which will be pretty pretty neat. I've picked the team. It's pretty much the same as the last team other than I put Lacazette in from the start. Everyone else is A-OK -okay to go as far as I can tell. Hopefully the sound will be a lot better this time. If it's not, oh, then I may just turn it off. Oh no, it sounds a lot better on the headphones anyway. I may just turn it off altogether but who are they running with? So Sigurdsson up front and uh, Mui and Williams defensive midfielders it, on the face of it it looks like we should go out there and steamroll them all but we will see so yep, set the expectation the expectation is to win not a win um, done not a lot of instructions other than be careful of the guy uh, Mounier we are actually going to do the same thing and the guy on the other side I think they actually just signed that guy, potentially. Uh, I'm just going to say that's that's just killing. Oh. Oh, no, no, I've done Steve Bold's one, which is fairly similar to mine. Anyway, whatever. Show one to the weaker foot. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. So, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Not much else I need to say. They know what they need to do. Cochrane is going to make his 100th league appearance. I'm going to do a... Well, we're doing like a, a Jedi handshake there. And, oh great, we're both playing in blue. Lovely. There's enough differentiating there to, for it to be not an issue, but... I think Huddersfield are going to pose a bit more of a threat than Watford, just off the side of it. Oh, Lossie's already got himself an injury, so... That might not be... Oh, they got Rob Green as the backup keeper. Goodness. What premiership money does to you, eh? So, so far, I don't think they've let us... Oh, that's out of our own half, which is not great. Oh, he's just born in the Mounier. Oh, that was Mounier, wasn't it? Yep. I like him, actually, in terms of his performances in real life. He's been playing really well, but then Huddersfield have been playing really well. So, hopefully we don't come unstuck. Manchester United. Oh, good save off the line, but we are struggling somewhat here. Huddersfield getting all of the chances in the early going. Let's go for more, more shutting down and much shorter passing, please. That would be nice. Um, maybe we should be slightly more structured as well, I think. Feeling that. We are the away team, even though you obviously would expect us to be far and above Huddersfield's level. You never know what can happen in football. So, hopefully, that will just sell us down a little bit. Give them a bit less time on the ball. If those highlights were telling me anything, it was definitely that. Blooming heck, Bellerin. Not a good place to lose the ball like that. Oh, no. Caught on the back foot. That is a beautiful save by Czech there. That should have been 1 0. Really poor. Really poor for my centre backs. And there was just a little mistake by Bellerin in the in the final third, like right in the middle of the pitch. Who knows what, what reason he's managed to find himself there? But hopefully, Klasnac can deal with this little bit. Oh no, he stepped in, sent, drawn the central defender over as well. Check with an easy save there. No, I didn't even pick anyone. Oh, Lopez. I need these passes to stick at the minute. It's not doing too well. Oh, there we go. Lacazette, Cochrane, Lopez, play it through, play it through. Theo, Lacazette. Oh, no. It was a very nice counter attack. The ball gave away, the ball was given away. I thought Lopez took too long to, to play the pass through to Theo. That's a lovely ball by Cochrane. But he didn't weigh it and. 
Yeah, Coppola nearly got in the way, but still, no. Beautiful team goal, that one. Which is useful because, like I say, we've been on the back foot so far. And Huddersfield are well in this game still, so... Could do with... Definitely do with another goal. We want to maintain any sort of credibility in the in the game. You always get fearful when they're not really going anywhere like this, and you think, oh no, they're going to nick it. And then Mooney obviously did. That's a good tackle. No one to go in on Sigurdsson. That was good. And again, oh no, that was not so good. Well, well Definitely feel as though the closing down more has had a, a positive impact on the squad. That's a lovely little pass there by Cochlan. Ramsey, just, just get the pass away. No messing around. Oh, that's a lovely ball to Alexis. Come on, Alexis, play it in. That's probably one of the simplest goals you will see. Is that with his second goal of the game? Can you see the replay? Got, I prefer how they've done the replays now. You can choose to skip them or whatever. That's a lovely ball, though. And the keeper... One of the problems with the match engines there makes it look like the keeper did vert, did nothing and just let it go in. Whereas I'd probably like have them, you know, diving down or something. A little dink over, if you want to do it that way. But I don't really know what i say to the team. Yeah, keep it up. Nothing more to say than that. First half of the first half was really disappointing. And then a lucky break later. And obviously now I just feel leaving themselves well open to us. That's third half, is it? There you go. Easy as you like. And you may find now it might become a bit of a rout. Because that is on form. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, straight back check. Dallied on the ball too long. It just happens too often by my midfield players, but. Oof, good block. Nice ball in. Uh, no one even went for that. Back is it. Can whip one through. No players on the edge of the box. Back to back is it. There we go. Simple stuff. So you don't need don't need to do complicated things. Sometimes the simple balls are the most effective. That's really wayward. Oh, I don't know, it's not even that was a really poor header. That's right, just stand him up. I'm going going nowhere, but it's a good good little sequence there by Huddersfield. They um they're not really the type of team to sit back and just let it go, let it roll, but I don't see the need to make any subs at the minute. I'm happy with the conditioning of the players and how we're doing. No one's booked or anything. No one's playing particularly badly. Some players I wish were performing a little bit better, but not much you can really do about that. Oh, Ramsey gave it away far too easy there. Good tackle there, holding. Just going to pass through. Lacazette can do something with it. Oh, I think Lopez won it back. Lacazette played it through to Alexis. And that's for it. Oh. Oh, no, that's still stuck there. So, yeah, I have noticed a few little glitchy glitchy bits and stuff, like this thing not going down when it's sort of. So, my calendar is a bit glitched as well when it goes and it advances time. But, well, maybe these are things that still need to be fixed. So. Fairly simple stuff. I mean, or fairly basic stuff, I should say. Not not necessarily simple. So, let's make some few substitutions. Let's take... Um, no, Sanchez will get really upset if I take him off. Let's not take Sanchez off. I'll take Lacazette off. He's already on a hat-trick, so he can't moan at me too much. I'm sure he probably will. And... Rob Holdings played okay, but we'll take him off as well. Give Chambers a run out. Who's getting booked? No, oh, no one's getting booked. My goodness. So, 
Uh, Lacazette has more than more than earned his man of the match today. Tidy finishes. Made easier by the interplay before it, but then again he is getting himself involved in that as well. Awobi, that's good. You didn't just run into the corner and let him tackle you. Well, that's not so good. Should have done better there. We have let Huddersfield have a decent number of chances. And you would expect him to do a little bit better with some of them as well. Come on, just, just play the simple pass. I didn't have to go all the way back. But if you insist. Go on, Alexis. Oh, he's done him. Jinked it past him. Put it in for Danny. In for a Wobi. And it's over. Over. Lopez in. That wasn't a terrible cross. It was well defended, though. And a Wobi's had another chance. He'll score one of these days. I'm sure he will. But I think uh, probably we're looking at that, calling it about time, I think, on this one. I'm going to start to think ahead to the Everton game, which I'm sure you will be really dying to watch. Potentially making it three wins out of three. Check, just taking his time casually there and leaving a wide open goal. Goodness. The is an audacious attempt, but I don't know really what Czech was doing. Just play the simple ball. There's players in space, especially around the midfield now. You know, play the simple ball, work the gap. And come on. We can make another chance before the day's up. I just forgot a man over there and they didn't use him. Very frustrating. Oh, God, that's way wide. I feel like we've given them every chance other than put the ball in the net for them today. And they've really missed out on some ample opportunity. That's a beautiful save. Check. Lovely save. And probably Huddersfield's last chance to nick one. No kick. That will do, I think. Three minutes, but... Actually, Mui got himself... A... Oh, has that gone in, or...? <laughs> Literally couldn't see anything there. Yeah, uh, Mui's managed to get himself a really high rating, considering that they've lost 4 nil. So... Good to see that. They haven't... Oh, I know 4 nil is a bit of a drubbing, but... As I say, had the chances. That was just a bit too clinical today. There we go. That'll do. Two really good heart. Like no, we we came second best on every single aspect. The problem is, we just made some really nice chances. So Aaron Mui played played really well. Not really the type of player I'd want to sign, obviously. But there you go. This has got to be one of the more surprising results I've seen. I was expecting a close match with Arsenal, perhaps a scrape of victory. Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought we would win, but I don't think it, I wasn't anticipating us not winning there. Everyone has played really well. Lots of, well, sevens, eights, and nines, even from substitutes. Very good. My calendar end up being all messed up there, unfortunately. But yep, Lacazette's hat trick. I got my little notification there for the hat trick because I knew. Same one you get every year. Another clean sheet now. That's actually a surprise. <laughs> Czech did not deserve a clean sheet from that game. And, yeah, we played, played really well. Um, I don't know if we can really get Sanchez to stay, but you never know. I don't think he still wants to, to uh, give us a contract, does he? Or even talk about a contract. No, he wants to leave. Yep, he wants to leave, and that is that. 
So once again, we'll do a cut here. We'll go, see what I mean? I don't know what's happened there with the calendar. I've messed it up somehow. Uh, we'll do a cut now. We'll go through to the start of the Everton game. If anything big happens in between, that's quite big. Bournemouth beating Tottenham. Never upset about that. And we're currently sitting top by virtue of probably name difference as it goes. But yeah, Manchester United just behind. A few clubs on six points. Some clubs lost, yeah. I mean a real big big change to where Man City are, two point only two points after two games. So anyway, we'll cut to the Everton game and like I say, transfers or whatever happened in between, we'll discuss them then. A slight interruption to our usual broadcasted content. So we have the group stages for the Europa League. I don't know if it's going to draw it exactly the same as it's done in real life, which may happen or probably will happen from the update. I actually don't know who's in the rest of the group, so we'll find out. Braga, no, totally different. That's okay. Obviously different teams will have qualified, presumably as well. Locomotive Moscow, so no one I'm particularly scared of yet, but then again, I wouldn't say Braga are really a gimme. Atalanta, oh, so I suppose. Well, AC Milan could have been in there, to be fair. Marseille could have been, yeah, you know, I could have picked a harder group, but I wouldn't say it's, like, dead easy. But, yeah, there shouldn't be any issues with that one. Let's just see what they have got to say regarding the draw. Did they have anything to say? Oh, we had an easy group. All right, fair enough. Oh, Atlanta's the only one they're thinking is the real threat. No, fair enough. Well, let's find them. Welcome back to the second um, game of this episode. We're up against Everton. Manchester United have won their game considerably well, so they're going to go top of the table. I don't. Why the heck is Granit Xhaka right back? Um, okay. I thought I'd picked this team already. It's been a day since I've last recorded, so this is why I'm not quite up to date with exactly what's going on. And let's put Koscielny in there. He's back to full fitness. And, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that for now. And let's see how we, see how we do. So, I believe, if I'm right, I've turned volume down to... One, even though it does sound quite loud in my headphones. So that's not brilliant. Uh, let me double check that that's been done. Yeah, so it's down to one, which is like the lowest. And it's a lot quieter when I hit the test button. So I hope there's not an issue with this because that would be really annoying. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully everything's okay. I think I might have messed up the game. Because we're now in this really weird view here. I think we just scored. Oh, we did. But I can't tell because <laughs> this is in the way. Uh, if I pause and play it again. Nope. That's made no difference. I'm sure it was a lovely goal. Um, oh. That was a bad miss by Williams there. Or I scuffed it or something. Alright, oh, we've still got this view. Um... How about I just come out and go back in again? Nope. You're just gonna. Did I even get to do my team talk? Or did I just straight? Or did it just straight play? Oh, this is not good, guys. This is not good. This unfortunately is usually the sort of issue you get with betas and such. I'm not sure even where to click for anything else. The game sort of locked me out. Okay, well that was nearly a goal, I think. I can't really tell over this. Okay, give me the, the tactics option or something. It's like I'm just watching the game and not actually playing it. Um, well, this is embarrassing. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is we can cut to the highlights instead. I'll endure this for the duration. There's 2 0. And yeah, if it does come back, I'll start recording again. If not, we'll yeah just have to go over the highlights at the end. So it looks like we're back up and running. Half time seemed to have booted it into normal mode, which is 
which is good. Uh, we'll watch the the goals from the first half. It did end 3 0. We had a lot of chances, to be fair. The guys have been playing absolutely out of their skin. Uh, Coquelin, I'm not keen on keeping on for too much longer. He will go off maybe around like 55 minute mark, just because he's already got booked. And it says he's looking complacent, and he has been putting a few strong challenges. But yeah, I mean, Alexis could have had as, as many goals as he liked in this game, it seems. But the keeper's made some really good saves, even though it's 3-0. So, no faulting him there. The third goal was scored by Theo, as you can probably tell, at the back post. It was a um, bit of a dodgy defending, but, um, you know, these things happen. So I think we'll take Coquelin off and bring Mr. Shaka on. Mainly because I'm a bit, a bit concerned about Coquelin staying on the pitch. And he's already been booked. So it'll probably go a lot worse now that I actually have some influence over the game. But it's just about managing the guys now really when you're 3-0 up. As long as it stays 3-0. Of course. I'm not overly sure I think about the match engine. It's obviously better than it was previous. So, you know, that's good. The improvements have been made, but it's still not where it should be, I don't think, by any stretch. So, coming up to the 60-minute-ish mark, let's think about making a few subs. Um, I've not played Urzel yet, so I'll bring him on and we'll give Lopez a bit of a rest. I think that's it. We'll save the, the last substitution in case. Calamity strike. But this is actually Ethel's first appearance, actually, for me. Looks uninterested. Oh, well, fair enough. Nothing new there than Ozil is, though. So, <laughs> now nah, to be fair, he has been playing quite well in real life recently. So, props to him for that. Nope, that was a bit, a bit weak sauce. Well, never mind. I do feel as though... <sighs> wow. Uh, I do feel as though Everton have been knocking on... Well, knocking on the door for most of the game. This second half has been completely drab compared to the first half. And I couldn't even do the first half properly. So that is a bit annoying. I think that's probably going to be about it. I could make a last minute sub. We'll bring the be on. But not take Sanchez off. He'll probably get upset. <laughs> Yeah, Ozil just just not bothered. Here you go, Schneidlin. You just take the ball. Um, oh, he is tracking back though. Bloody hell. Okay. Well, maybe in-game Ozil is a bit more committed to the cause than he's uh, <laughs> letting on. <laughs> and I think that's probably going to be about it. I would have thought. It's just annoying not really having obviously because Danny Welbeck's injured and Giroud in, is injured. Having like a striker that I can I can bring on really because I've got. Theo and Sanchez in the squad as well. Just try and give Lacazette a bit of a rest. I mean, when we're 3-0 up at this... Well, this point in the game. Or 70th minute in the game. Be nice to bring someone to... Oh, he might score, actually, now I've said that. <laughs> Assisted by Petr Cech. Goodness. Um, good, well, okay. I mean, that pretty much sums up the whole game for Everton, really. That is, was such an easy goal. Goodness. Fair play to Lacazette, though. He's bagged himself a brace. I don't know many goals. He's got a fair few goals now, I think, so far. He's doing pretty well. Koscielny has definitely been a little bit of a step above holding coming into the team, which is nice to see. That was far too close to Pickford. I actually think Pickford's had a decent game. I think don't think any of the goals he could have done much more with. So... I don't think he was the issue. Um, predicted a draw. Well, it definitely wasn't a draw. It was a very good win. Might as well just... Yep. Yeah. Where is... Oh, can I... Let's give Lacazette. Oh. Was he... Yeah, he's happy about that. That's good. And I think he got man of the match as well. Sanchez played really well also. So, yeah, you couldn't really ask much more than Thanks, football manager. Um, pitch. Uh, goals only. Uh, 
yeah, let's have a look at this. Let's just rewatch the goals because the first three were interrupted. Oh, yeah, the goal came from the kickoff, didn't it? I forgot about that. It caught me off guard, it was that early. Sanchez, Ramsey. Oh, Bellerin put some lovely ball, didn't he? I remember. I'm not sure what happened there with uh, Lopez and, and Williams. Looks like Williams got a little tap on the clearance and then... Sanchez was just there to roll it in. So I think this is Lacazette's first goal, I believe. That was a bit, bit poor, but never mind. Oh, here we go. Ramsey, Alexis... Absolute brilliant start. I mean, <laughs> I think when I sort of ended the recording the first time, I was I was under the impression that it could be any scoreline. So, this one is uh, Theo's goal. Like I say, a bit lackluster defending again. Although most of them are, or were, even. Ugh. Lex is just too good. But yeah, nice simple finish. Anyway, so that was the... Well, there were the goals. We don't really need to watch. Uh... We don't really need to see... Oh, can I not get off this? Yeah, everything is a bit... You know, they've done the whole Windows 10 thing and tried to condense things down quite a lot. So Lacazette's got six goals. I wonder how many of them are in the Premiership. Oh, no, that's all six in the Premiership. Six goals, three games. I didn't realise he was being that prolific so far, but that is absolutely incredible. So, hopefully that will continue. Obviously, we've had easier games, you would say. I mean, Huddersfield. Um, no, who was it first? Watford, Huddersfield, Everton. And that actually puts us back top because of the goal difference. So, yeah, Manchester United are in for a bit of a challenge this season, maybe, if we can carry on. But, yeah, we need some proper tests. There's not really much coming up, to be fair. So, next episode, we've got the transfer window. So, the conclusion to all the transfers, because there's not many days left on the 27th of August already. So, we'll be going through that then. And just playing that through, doing transfer deadline day, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, after that, I'll be sort of taking us through forward until the next league game which will be after the international break so we'll probably do the next three games uh, just recorded after the fact but I hope you've been enjoying the series so far guys and there's much more to come I'm sure thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one goodbye